How y'all doing? I think it's the fifteenth of that February. I can't remember those. Um, you know, you see what happening with that, that train derailment. Um, there's some really scary people behind all this stuff, like de and demons, real demons. Yeah, completely. Not telling any. Not telling anyone. Nope. I'll tell you this: if you'd listen to me what, a year and a half ago when I was telling them two, almost two years ago, telling you not to, uh, you know, Tesla was gonna go bankrupt, um, crypto was gonna crash, all that at the top of their thing. Yep. Yeah, I said all this stuff's gonna go away. Um, all this was was a, was a grab for money to grab the power to get. They really just emptied most people's wallets. Yeah. The government was behind all of it. They own crypto. All right. So if you think that you're bypassing the government by going to crypto, you're not. No, nope, you're just getting a little sh little shadier deal than they already have in the banks because it's real shady. Um, let's see. You know, you're just trying to push the push divisiveness. You're trying to separate people when you're doing this whole, you know, because this what is it the what'd you call it the black African American whatever they called it some kind of a uh, what is it. Mm. National anthem. Oh, so sick. People are sick. This is what they do. Yeah. Yeah. So does it mean that you can't have anything? You can't enjoy anything that was created by a white person. So does that mean I can't enjoy anything that was created by a black person? Is that we're going to do this this um, double standard here? Only black people are allowed to um, be be hateful and. You know, call you cracker and mayo and, and all these nasty things and say, as long as I'm not white, when they do DNA tests on the internet and shit, and nobody bats an eye. Yep. But if some white guy said, I'm glad I'm not black, you'd have the whole fucking place on there. And that's the thing. You know, and with these stupid balloons and stuff, this is all this is all cover up to try to, you know, to try to mess up with. I told you I was kicked off Facebook. And um, they did. Yeah, they said 18 days left, not 17 days left. <laughs> they sent me a thing. Yeah, because it, it, I sent a picture of, it was his face of Hunter Biden with what appeared to be a young girl. <sighs> Probably Ukrainian when they stole. But, um, and it, uh, and I said, this needs to be investigated. And immediately, as soon as I sent that, I was I was um, taking out Facebook. Yeah. So anybody that shares anything that um, goes against their narrative, they just you know squash it. You've got some of the some of the weakest people running these countries, especially America. Um, you know, though, what I don't care if people call them misogynist, all that bullshit, man, all that racist shit you all talk about. I just speak the truth, and I'm sorry if it hurts you. Yep. Yep. You have to learn, figure it out. Because everything I'm telling is the truth. Women have will. Women will vote themselves into slavery, and that's what you've done. Yep. They'll always pick safety. Yep. And that's why it's the, you know we don't do it that way. Women. Women have more important jobs than than what we're doing really, but. You guys don't see it that way, so you want to make everybody the same and turn men and um, men into girls and girls into men. Um, uh, that's another thing. I don't hate anybody, even the people around me. If they're nice to me, I'm nice to them. I don't hold no grudges, but I am irritated with people. So you know that people out there. Um, yep, I don't hate Obama. I don't hate, I feel sorry for those people. I truly do. Yep, because it's a way bigger picture than just what they've done. Uh, so it was all meant to be. So you had to have someone play that part. <sighs> all these people were groomed. They groomed from elementary 
all the way through. And then the teachers take out the, you know, then the teachers just repeat the pattern. Yeah. Most of them are angry and, and you know, they, um, they listen to the feminist and, you know, the girl power and I don't need a man and I don't want to do this. And, you know, a lot of women and most women, they divorce because they, they don't want, they deal in emotion. Yeah. So they can act one way one day and the next day they're, they're a totally different person and they don't even realize it. And, um, but we do. <laughs> and, um, so I'm just tired of it. Jacksonville's a shithole. And every, all the people up there endorsing, you know, politicians endorsing this and that mayor, this, all these, you know, police, uh, the police are like the, the rejects from the sheriffs. So if that's bad enough, you know, and the sheriffs are already bad enough now. Um, Yeah, but all the stuff with the, the balloons and all that shit is just a, just a distraction from the real stuff that's going on. I hope you all just pay attention to that. Um, hmm. crazy man like in the last couple of years it's everybody and you know just you know and, I, and that's another thing I didn't really realize it until after after everything that I started noticing people <laughs> and I was like all right just because they do they I mean everybody acts different when they're on patrol you know and I read people so it's like uh-huh yeah slight mannerism see I, I'm and I'm tired of insulting people I really don't like to but I'm like I think I have to do it to get attention because people People are so lost. They don't know what a hero, what a real man is or a woman anymore or what a real hero is. That's why I was like with all that, you know, Sylvester Stallone and all those people. They took all their money and all that and put it to shitty use. Yep. All about making more money, robbing people. And, and Sylvester Stallone stole that, that whole thing from a, a real person. Yep. And then fought not to give him something. Surely is. Well, he's better off for not getting it. Because fucking money just corrupts you and makes you cut your face up and get all kinds of plastic surgery. You know, William Shatner, you're supposed to you're supposed to look ninety. You're not supposed to look like a potato head. You know? And I don't mind William Shatner, but I mean it's just the, the narcissism is out of play. Like, oh I can't I cannot stand what's that dude? Oh, the guy from The gay guy from fucking Star Trek, Ulu Zulu, or what the fuck his name is, hateful pedophile right there, dude. You know he's like he likes them children. I know he does. He's sick. You know, that's one thing. You you've you know there's you got if you two men love each other, but it's not that. It's like it's gotten to be or two women love each other. It's not that. It's become what is it? Um. It's not love, it's lust. Yeah. Yeah. And perverted. You know, like all these people want to be with young people. And it's sick. I couldn't imagine I couldn't imagine being with even with a twenty year old now. I mean twenty twenty five. You get me? Thirty. I'm forty seven. They just we don't we're not in the same place in life. And all these all these um women are selling themselves short. Yeah. They want that instant gratification. They don't want to. They don't want to help build people. You know, we're not done growing at eighteen. Whenever you're an adult, no, we're far from adults at eighteen. Men don't hit their stride until they're in tw mid twenties, maybe. Yep. And with the help of a good woman, they go to the. You know, and that's what it is. It's got to be a man, a man, a good man, or a good woman. And they're they're so rare and hard to come by. You don't see them because they're too busy taking care of each other. And their family. Do you see how? Uh, leave that one. No. I love answering questions too. Oh, I can't wait for people to actually want to know and ask. Um, I 
cut it short tonight. It's it's weird having all this stuff going on in your head. Yeah. yeah. All this information downloading. Oh. Y'all have a good night.